Say good night, tell them that I said goodbye. Say, look me in the eye, say, I want a piece of pie. Tell me to take your picture, don't forget to say please. Tell me when you're ready, smile and say cheese. Tell me that you love me, say you're not a tease. Say you'll marry me if I get down on my knees. Sometimes one verb. Uh, same thing with say and tell. We have uh, important grammar differences with say and tell, but sometimes the difference is not grammar. It's just collocation, or what I call collo. For example, tell the truth or say the truth. Tell the truth. Um, but is there a grammar reason for this? No. No. Okay. What I want you to do is just tell me anything you think that comes after say. I'm going to write it here. Yeah. So don't worry if you're right or wrong. Say, say anything. Say anything. Say hi. <laughs> say hi. Good. Tell hi. Say goodbye. No. Say a word. Good. Promise. Mm. Say a promise. Now that's interesting because I don't think we say say a promise or tell a promise. Mm. In Korean, do you say, say a promise? Um, I'm just curious. Yes. You, okay, yes. makes sense. Mm -hmm. Now, not every time, but many times if you make a mistake with a kalo, it's because in your language, it's okay. Uh, we usually say, give a promise. Give a promise. I, I give you my promise. Mm -hmm. To give someone their promise. Uh, or we use the verb, I promise you. Yeah, mm -hmm. The word, the verb is more common. So I promise I'll come to your party. I promise I'll help you. Now how about longer? Say you're wrong. Good. I, 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 like, I like what Dante said. He said, say you love me. He cut this word uh, because we don't have to use this word. How about if we make any of these longer? Say goodbye to you. Ah, okay, to you, to them, and to us. Please say goodbye to us before you leave. Let's look at the grammar here. We have say plus direct object plus indirect object. Not always, but usually the direct object is something. And the indirect object is someone. So here's a good example. Say goodbye, direct object, to 
us, mm -hmm. right, or to you, the indirect object, indirect. right? Mm -hmm. So we need this preposition, right? Mm -hmm. uh, or this way, right? We have say plus that, mm -hmm. subject verb. You love you. That's what you, I don't think that's what you said. You love me. Say that you love yourself. Self-esteem. Raise self-esteem. Yes. We're talking about this one. How can we say this one with tell? Just change the grammar a little bit. Tell me. Good. Tell me something, right? Tell me in direct object. Something direct object. So it's the flip. See how easy it is to make mistakes. If your language only has one verb, <laughs> uh, another good example of that is Spanish. So decir is say and tell. So tell me that sure. you love me. me. Mm -hmm. Indirect object, right? And then um, that, right? We should put this because it's not always necessary. Subject, um, um. verb. Subject and then tell other colors. Tell the truth. Tell, tell, tell. Tell, tell. tell a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell him I called. I like that. That's like this, right? Tell him, right? I called. Very common message, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, uh, Emily's not here right now. Oh, could you tell her I called? Oh, tell, tell, a story. Good. tell a story. Yeah, tell a story here and here. I think you agree. There's no grammar rule, right? Mm -hmm. Just the verb plus the object. <laughs> It's very important to understand if there are grammar differences with words. Uh, however, understanding grammar differences with them is usually not enough because of this idea of kalo. There's no good rule, rule to follow to know what comes after say and tell always. And even when there is a grammar difference, studying the rule is not usually the best way to remember and automatically produce. So if you want to very quickly, fluently, uh, use kalos when you speak and write, the most important thing is not studying rules, but instead getting enough practice hearing them and reading them. Anybody hear any other ones in this yes. one? Oh, Pray. what did I say about this? Pray. S not, this one wasn't praying. I did say, <laughs> say, I think I said say a prayer. Prayer? Say a prayer, or before dinner, remember we did? Ah, Anybody remember that one? Yes. Say gr grace. Grace. Say grace. Uh. But this was different. Sometimes people kneel down to pray, but in this example, what was I doing? Me. Yeah. Um. Say, it's this one. That Say that, that, you, that you, you marry me. You marry or you future? You will marry me. Ah, so hard to hear this, right? Yo, yo. <laughs> so easy to cut, right? In your, your, when you hear it, it's hard to catch it. But we can say, say you marry. Yeah. Not every day. <laughs> say yo. Say yo. Marry ah. me. Good. Everybody, say you'll marry me. Say, say you'll marry, marry me. Good. Or, how can we change that using tell? Tell me. That's true. Very good. Yeah. Tell you marry me. Exactly. So, tell me that you'll marry me. Nobody can see you. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's better. <laughs> <laughs>